Welcome to my tutorial on yoga for basketball players. As you know, basketball can be really hard on your body, especially because you're constantly jumping, cutting, making contact with other players on the court. Practicing yoga before, after, and during your basketball game can really help you recover faster and prepare your body for your next run. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the body parts that are most frequently used and that are at the greatest stretch when you play basketball. So go ahead, grab your basketball, a yoga block if available, your yoga mat, and let's play. Let's start warming up our spine, neck, and shoulders. Come onto your palms and your knees. Keep your shoulders and your wrist in alignment. Your knees at the width of your hips. All right, flat back. Maybe start by tapping your feet a few times. Tap, tap, tap. All right. Tuck your toes under to stretch your toes. On your exhale, round your back. Look down to over your navel. Just hold here for two breaths. Feel the stretch. Inhale, cow. Gaze up. Exhale, cat. Look down. Inhale, cow, look up. Keep going with your cow and cat flow. You may go faster or slower, maybe alternate between fast and slow paces. Try your way. Feel good throughout your spinal cord, your shoulders, your neck. Maybe add some extra moves by rolling your head side to side. Feeling your neck muscles, maybe circle in one direction and switch. Good job. All right. Tuck your toes under. On your next exhale, lift your knees a few inches off the ground and slowly extend your legs. Coming into downward facing dog. Extend your arms, your legs. And maybe walk your feet a few times, left and right. Bend your knees as much as you need. Lift your heels, shift forward. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Engage through your fingertips, your knuckles. Exhale, press back and down into down dog. Let's add two more stretches just like this. Inhale, lift your heels high, shift forward. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Knuckles pressing down, feel it in your core. Exhale, press back and down. Last round, inhale, flow forward. Use your core. Exhale, down facing dog. Good job. Walk your feet, bend your knees. Walk your hands backwards. Let's come into squatting position called Malasana or garland pose a squatting pose keep your hands at your heart and move your knees out to deepen your hip opener all right you may hold here static or add some move side to side feel your lower back keep your chest lifted at all times if, if i come this way you will see that my spine is flat i'm not rounding my lower back or my middle back or upper back, everything is extended. Roll your shoulders back and down your shoulder blades. Keep your chest lifted, look forward and smile. From Malasana, I like to transition to hamstring stretch forward fold. It's a deep stretch for your lower back and your calf muscles. Go ahead, press your palms into the ground and lift your buttocks up toward the sky. I like to bring my feet together. If it's not accessible to you, spread your feet wide apart at the distance that feels comfortable for your lower back. Bend your knees and pull your chest forward. Wrap your hands behind your calf muscles or place them in front of your shins. And start to pull your head toward your shins. Feeling the stretch throughout your hamstrings your calf muscles, and your lower back. You can also interlace your fingers behind your spine and let your hands fall forward. Let the gravity to pull you down. Feel relaxed. 
feel calm. Start to shift to one side, the other. Swaying gently side to side. Spend here another breath on your next inhale. Release your hands down and slowly start to come up into standing mountain pose. Our next hip opener is goddess pose. It activates every part of your body, your hamstring, your glute muscles, your chest, core, shoulders, arms, your whole body. Make sure you've got your props, a basketball and a yoga block next to your mat. All right, let's come into proper stance. For you, it may be wider or more narrow. So see what works for your body. Be sure to avoid any pain. So when you adjust yourself, make sure your toes are pointing in the same direction as your knees. So if your toes are way out and your knees are not in alignment, adjust. Walk your toes in. All right. Squat deep on your next exhale. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward. Exhale, fold forward halfway. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, twist to your right. Whip your spine straight. Look to your right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to your opposite direction. Hold here. Inhale, center. Second round, exhale, twist to your right. Drop your seat down, chest up. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold over your legs. Toes in, heels out. Gently press your hands into the ground and pull your chest forward. Now you should feel different muscle activation with your legs spread wide apart just shift forward and back a few times feel it in your lower back in your hamstrings and your calf muscles good job slowly rise back up toes out heels in inhale stretch your arms overhead exhale squat deep goddess pose inhale lengthen Exhale, lower your hands down halfway, palms facing down. Now, palms facing up, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, palms facing down, lower them down halfway. Good job. Now, let's engage our knees. Inhale, extend your arms, your legs, chest up. Exhale, squat into goddess. Continue, inhale, extend. Exhale, squat. Let's pace up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep going. Make sure you check your alignment. Maybe adjust your stance. So maybe widen your stance and notice the difference. So goddess pose, just like any other pose, is all about mindfulness. Feeling your body and your breaths. Let's go for eight, seven, big smile, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands behind your spine, interlace your fingers, inhale, lift your chest, look up, exhale, fold over your knees, toes in, heels out. Lower down your chest and bring your hands forward and down along with your head. You may hold static or wiggle side to side, feeling your hamstring and your calf muscles. On your next inhale, lift your chest, look forward halfway. Exhale, press your hands down. Toe heel your feet together. And now rise up. Mountain pose. Exhale, release your hands by your side. Great job. Now let's use your prop. It could be a basketball or your yoga block. Whichever prop that is available or you prefer. 
I'll demonstrate you the next stretch with a basketball. So come into proper stance, could be different this time. Again, very often as we warm up our body, we'll feel more open, more stretched. So see if you need to widen your stance or keep it more narrow. All right, toes out, heels in, knees are pointing in the direction of your toes. All right, keep your spine straight and press your bow from both sides very tightly. Inhale, extend your arms forward and over your head. Keep pressing your bow tightly from both sides. This way you work on your shoulders. All right, inhale, lift your chest, shoulders down. Exhale, fold forward halfway, toes inhales out. Notice when you come up, your toes are slightly out. When you come down halfway, your toes are slightly in. All right, so there's a lot of muscle coordination and adjustments throughout your body. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward halfway. Stretch your chest forward and lean back. So notice if I go back, there's not much stretching going on throughout my legs. If I reach my chest forward, now I'm feeling my hamstring and my calf muscle stretch. Keep squeezing your bow with both hands. Feel it in your chest. Lean forward. And now. Come up, chest up, look forward, squeeze your ball, exhale, fold forward halfway. Chest is reaching forward. Inhale, extend, exhale, flex. Keep going, faster or slower, or alternate your pace, or fast and slow. Keep going for eight. Try to maximize your stretch. Seven. Deep breath. Six. Smile. Five. Four. So close to finish. Three. Two. And one. Hold. Exhale. Press your bow down. Let's come into fold next to open our hamstrings and calf muscles. Bring your hands to the ground, if accessible, or wrap your hands around your shins. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Hold your hands around your legs to press your chest forward. You can also try interlacing your fingers if this feels better for your back. Start to lean forward with your chest to activate the back side of your legs. Hold static or add some moves side to side. Engage through deep breaths. I like to spend here five deep breaths. And gently come up. Great job. Mountain pose Sadasana. Our next stretch is white legged twist. It's very important to isolate your upper abdomen from your lower abdomen as you twist to one side. I'll guide you through the steps. You can use a bowl for more stability challenge or a yoga block. So if you use a block, there's not much wobbling, shaking going on. If you want to work your core, use a bowl. All right, keep your right palm pressing down over the bowl to get started. Keep your toes in, heels out. Inhale, stretch your left arm forward. Exhale. Twist your rib cage to left side as you isolate it from your lower abdomen. Keep your both hips pointing down. If you're not feeling anything, use your palm. Press it over your left hip bone as you twist your rib cage to your left. Look to your left side and breathe. All right. You may hold static or extend your left wrist over your shoulder. Another option is to circle your left arm to deepen your shoulder stretch. Keep your back flat, chest lifted. Slowly return back to center. Switch your hand, left palm as you base, hips pointing forward. Isolate your rib cage on your exhale. 
twist to your right, extend your right wrist over your shoulder, or press your right palm over your right heel bone very gently. You may feel limited range of motion when you press your hand down or over your hip. That's okay. Eventually, you'll be able to twist deeper using your breaths. Hold here or extend or circle. Slowly return back to center. Toe heel, your feet together. Squat back into garland pose, malasana. Good job. Bring your hands at your heart. Just rock side to side. Reset. Good job. All right. Our next stretch is frog pose. Another great hip opener. It does really work around your groin, your soles muscles, your inner thigh muscles. Very great for your lower back. So go ahead, come into your knees. Keep your feet slightly closer than your knees. Now, you may find yourself here and that's fine. Use your fingertips to press them down into the ground or your bow for stability challenge. Very gently start to widen your knees to sink your hips down and back. All right, roll your ball forward, slowly roll forward. Use your core and your breaths. Stretch forward our chest, inhale, exhale, roll your ball back. Keep going, inhale forward, exhale back. Good, your inner groin muscles and your core are activated. It may be too advanced for you. If it is the case, keep your ball away and start to walk your hands over the ground. Now add some twists and side stretches by walking your hands to your right side. This is a great stretch for your lower back muscles when you're in frog pose and twist it to one side. All right, inhale, walk your hands to the opposite direction, your left knee. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Exhale, slowly release. Walk your knees together. In yoga practice, it's important to counter poses. If you previously opened your hips, now we have to close your hips. All right, keep your knees together. If you feel open in your knees, keep your buttocks between your heels. If you feel really tight and discomfort, use a ball or a yoga block. I'll demo you with the block. Bring your hips over the block. Just sit here. Keep pressing your knees together. Very important to press your knees together and lift your chest up. Now we're going to walk our hands backwards if accessible. If not, just stay here. If accessible, bring your fingertips into the ground and very slowly walk your hands back. Palms pressing down, fingertips pointing toward your heel. This way you work on your shoulder stretch. Now press your chest up to add gentle back bend. Maybe drop your head down and just rest here. Lower down onto your elbows eventually and maybe press your head down and just rest here, arms by your heels. Close your eyes and rest in stillness for a few deep breaths. slowly come up onto your elbows your palms and you're done that was it i hope you enjoyed this short tutorial with a few yoga stretches that you can try any time of the day before during or after your basketball game let me know what other stretches you would like to see in my next tutorial and until next time train hard and namaste